Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a shawl cardigan. I chose this rayon material, but you could use a flannel or some sort of cotton. So mine is about 2 yards, it's 36 inches long, doubled over, and 40 inches wide, and I did have to cut off some on the width. So here's a little diagram so you can understand what my dimensions are. The first step is you're going to cut down the middle all the way up, and I left about 3 inches at the top because I want the back of my cardigan to be a little bit longer than the front, so 3 inches I left at the top. So this is what it's going to look like after you cut that open. And the next step for me is I want to have the edges of my cardigan and the sides to be frayed. So if you don't want to have them frayed, you can go ahead and finish these edges by just folding them over twice and sewing them down. So I am going to do a hem about a half an inch away from the edge just to allow the edges to fray just enough but then have them stop at about half of an inch. So I'm going to go to the sewing machine and just sew those down. So instead of just doing a straight stitch I actually opted for a zigzag stitch because I'm using rayon it has a very high fray rate so the zigzag stitch just allows it to catch a little bit more layers and it slows down the fraying. So here is the edge after I've sewn down that hem and I am now going to start fraying the edges. So I cut myself so that's why my fingers all wrapped up. So I am using this tool right here. It's actually just a water soluble um, pencil but the edge of it has this kind of brush and I'm going to use this to fray the edges, kind of comb out the threads that I want to take away and it isn't really used for that but it ended up working really well. So you're just going to go to your areas you want to fray and just start combing through them, taking out the pieces. This can be a little time consuming but I really think it makes a really unique looking cardigan shawl. Now we're going to finish that opening that we cut earlier and we're just going to take those sides, roll them over twice and then go to the sewing machine and sew them down. And you just want to make sure that it's a really small thin hem. I also found that there was really no need to pin this, it actually is such a flimsy material that pinning it was even harder, it was easier just to do the hem by hand folding it over slowly at the sewing machine. Last step, you're going to sew a few stitches to create armholes. And you can see that mine is a little longer in the back, so I'm just going to fold it how I want it to lay on my body. So up at the top, you're just going to sew down two about four to five inch seams right here and then also on the other side. And this is just going to create some simple armholes. So here is the finished shawl cardigan. I definitely want to make more of these. I already have a heavier flannel material that I'm going to make one out of. And I'm also going to link below where I got this actual pattern because it's not something I made up. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you next time. Bye!